let's imagine we take a big chunk of a semiconductor material and start cutting it in pieces. If the size of the piece becomes smaller, let's say 200 angstrom, you start noticing very interesting things. The emission color, for example, of these pieces will depend precisely on their size. The smaller the size, the bluer is the emission. And at this limit, we start calling these little pieces quantum dots. Smaller particle size, larger energy, and the energy gap, this is what determines the color. And different particle sizes have different energy gaps. Smaller particles have wider energy gap, and that corresponds to bluer colors. That's why larger particles would emit in the red. As you make particles smaller, it would emit in the yellow, green, and then in the blue. This is all about precision. You want to make the small pieces exactly the same. And this is what we do via colloidal chemistry. Precise colloidal chemistry allows us to control the dimensions of this particle with the accuracy, say, 5%. This is a special route, so-called organometallic chemical route, uh, which allows us to make these particles with, ext with extremely high precision. Solar energy. This is, of course, uh, uh, the vast uh, resource of clean energy, which is uh, unfortunately underutilized. We need more efficient solar cells, and uh, we need uh, them to be less expensive. And quantum dots is a perfect materials platform uh, for the realization of inexpensive solar cells and also efficient solar cells. Uh, and interestingly, not only quantum dots allow you to think about solar paints, for example, uh, but they can provide efficiencies which would surpass the efficiencies of traditional silicon uh, photovoltaic devices. Organic LEDs, for example, have been under development for a long time, uh, but the color purity which is provided by quantum dots is much higher. That's why uh, many companies which are engaged in business uh, of displays and television sets are looking at quantum dots as a serious alternative. I strongly believe that uh, we will find a niche for applications of quantum dots in solar. It might be applications in fluorescent solar concentrate, as I said, photovoltaic windows. Then you have a, a very unusual property of your windows, which you install in your house and your office. In addition, just transmitting light, uh, they would produce electrical power. And of course, I'm a big fan of carrier multiplication. Very interesting physics, and I hope this physics finds its uh, place in practical photovoltaics, and that can be done with quantum dots, and I'm sure maybe in a couple of years, we actually will make a cell which will show enhanced efficiency due to our phenomenon, the phenomenon of carrier multiplication. Mm -hmm.